Recording is being recorded. Good morning, everyone. This is Gabrielle from OGS Food Distribution, and I am here today to talk about the USDA DOD Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program. Uh, this is part four on how to view your reports and see what your usage has, has been in the favors program. So up here on the screen, I have what I call our first stop shop is the OGS food distribution website. And I've already gone to the National School Lunch Program page and pulled up the USDA, USDA DOD Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program highlights. And here we have the DOD customer ordering manual, um, the program guidance for areas K and W, the program guidance for Upper New York, and the favors login. So I'm gonna go right to favors because in my first couple of videos, I talked about what these were. But right now, I, I know you've already watched these, the first couple of videos, and you just wanna know how to receive, or not how to receive, how to view your reports. And notice, as I said before, it takes us to this page, our link, because we don't wanna have this page favorited the e-authentication for favors and WBSEM at the same time. So because I've already logged in today, it direct defaulted me to the page where I've been using, the school that I've been using to demonstrate how to do these things in favors. And right now, I just wanna point out again that if you need the customer ordering manual, you can find it on the help screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and click on it. And I point this out each time because it is a really great tool to use. So today we're gonna be going over reports, the usage report, the budget, and the catalog. And um, I'm gonna go back to favors. I also wanna point out that you can also view your usage under proceed. When you're making an order, uh, right here under current fund balances, you can click on this shortcut and it will give you your start balance in order spent and how much you spent for each school, each district, and the remaining balance overall for the district. All right, so I'm gonna go back home and we're gonna focus on this part today, the report. The first one I actually wanna look at is not top to bottom, but I wanna look at the catalog. Because the catalog does week to week, based on what is available in the area and what's available for produce. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Sunday, October 20th, 2019, and view the report. Um, I'm gonna allow this pop-up. And if your pop-up blocker is on, you may need to turn it off. And it pulls up all the, it pulls up a report for the catalog items that are being offered that week, the, the item code in favors, a description of the item, the unit, units per case, and also notice local. And local might just mean in the, like for us in the general Northeast, if you wanna see something that's from New York, be sure to look at the state of origin and then what the price per the unit is or a price per case, I should say. And if you want, you can export this to Excel. Uh, I know I'm, I like to do Excel, so I can kind of maybe calculate how much stuff will cost. And to do that, you would go up here. You want to change this from Crystal Report to, I like this, Microsoft Excel Workbook Data Only. And you can click Export. It, there's going to be a pop-up. You'll click Save. You'll click Open. And then this is the catalog if you want to export it to Excel, you would just have to hit enable editing and save if you want to save it. But this catalog also shows up every time that you go to place an order. But this is if you want to look at the catalog and maybe see a little bit more information about how many units per case. And, and if you want to do some calculations, you can export it directly to Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and close this report. And I'm going to go back home and we're going to look at the usage report. So I'm going to click on usage report. 
I am just going to click on one of the schools, not all of them, but you could click on all of them if you want to see the entire district. And I'm going to enter this year. I know there were no orders placed before October, so I'm just going to look at October to the end of October. And I'm going to click View Report. It's going to give me another pop up. All right, and it's going to give the usage here on what was ordered. It's not done necessarily by order, but how much of each product that was ordered. So if I want to, I'm going to go ahead and export this to Excel so I can edit it and manipulate it. Export, save, open. You can actually see, and it tells you when it was preceded. So if you wanted, you could put a filter. If you really want to analyze this data, you could put a filter. On say delivery date or date of receipt. And you could see what was ordered for that date for this school. I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to go ahead and close this again. We'll go to all. And we'll do a summary and we'll hit view report. So this is now a summary of all the customers and, and what they've spent. And now it just tells me um, to date how much has been spent, what the pounds is, the number of cases. So this is just some useful information um, to see how much food is going to this district. And if we want to see that, but we want to see the details of uh, where stuff went, we just change this to details. All customers will view the report again. Allow once. And it brings up just the gate chili because they're the only one that's ordered. And as you can see, this is these are pending orders because they don't have a receipt date in it yet. All right. Go ahead and exit that. We are going to go back home and we'll look at the final one. We'll have budget balance sheet. We click on this. Uh, it's going to default. You want the current budget year right now. So that's July 2019 to June 2020. We'll do all customers. We'll hit view report. My pop-up blocker is going to give an error. And then this report. It has the district on top, and then it has all the schools. So you can see how many, how much funds were spent on each school. And this goes to delivery locations. And again, I can export that to Excel by clicking on this button here, changing the report file format to Excel, export, save, open and I can edit if I want to go ahead and edit and then we want to see everything so we'll just make the columns a little bit bigger so and uh, and actually if you're curious about what this line is that's actually New York State's budget and then on the, the fourth row here is the district budget, and then these are all the schools in the district. And you can save this, manipulate it how you want it. As far as these rows here from I over, they're really not important at this time. We don't use these, these columns. 
All right, so that is how to run your reports in favors. Uh, remember, if you want to increase or decrease your balances, email OGS, donated foods at ogs.ny.gov because OGS food distribution, we're in charge of your entitlement and entering the information into favors on how much your budget is, and we're the ones that increase, decrease, or, or activate your school in favors. If you have any questions, we are also your first point of contact, so please email us or give us a call before you try to reach out to the DOD uh, or DLA or even Latina. Please give us a call first and we'll direct you on where you should go. Um, that's all I have for how to run your reports in favors. So thank you for listening and as I said, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.